I got one of my pants. Wouldn't you know it? Come on, honey. Get out of there. Get out of there. I do want to point out the way these aquariums are built. I'm planning on making, just making this a permanent hive inside the inside the shop. Okay, this is going to be permanent. I'm not going to pull honey from it. Um, consider it a backup nuke if I ever need to. You know, maybe I have to dive in and get a queen if I absolutely necessary. I can take another aquarium and go, you know, some more high. I can take another one. I can do a third. I can do a fourth if I wanted to and just, you know, make sure I brace it up everywhere we go. But this should work. So this, this could be a, a modular permanent observation hive. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing how it works. So stay tuned. I'm going to go get the bees. Okay, I went ahead and brought the hive into my wood shop. I really don't want to mess with them when they're that cold outside and it's 21 degrees. I don't want uh, them to freeze up any more than they already have. I've not heard a lot of buzzing, so they could already be, all be dead. We'll see. Um, we'll see. And yes, I'm in the shop. I realize bees may get out and fly around. That's fine. I didn't go ahead and put the, the uh, painter's tape on the hole. So hopefully, if there are any alive and they're flying around, they'll find their way back to this hive. Otherwise, everything we did today may be for nothing. But uh, I'm hoping we have some of them that are still alive. Oh yeah, we got some that are alive. That's a good sign. They're definitely out of their cluster. Oh yeah, we got far more than I thought we did. We may have to go to plan B. Definitely have far more than I thought. Uh, that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and put my gloves on and probably light a smoker. All right. I'm gonna try to work fast here. Paul and Patty. I looked at this the other day and I couldn't see anything. The girls are not happy with me. Guess you can't blame them. I just carried them in, shaking them and stirring them all the way up. Probably should have let them settle down a little bit. Probably should have left them outside in the cold so they would uh, cluster back up. I'm amazed they're doing as well as they are. I mean, it's still small. Don't get me wrong. They're much better than I thought from looking in there the other day. And they are certainly not happy. Nice cluster. It's going to work. That might not be strong enough. Guess we'll know soon enough, won't we? All right. If any of you are going to try this at home, Use something strong on the paint stick because I'm not sure it's going to work. I think the weight may just be too much. Just to be safe, I'm going to try to put a second one up here. Oops. Well, I messed that up, didn't I, John? certainly not happy with me. So they build it out on their own. Yeah, definitely 
I haven't seen the queen. I definitely don't want to her. That would be a bad, bad thing. So I'll go ahead and pull this one out. Girls, come on. And I realize I should keep all these frames in the same order from which I pulled them. They look pretty healthy. I've not seen the queen yet, but there's a little brood in there. All right, so you can see all the stuff I have up top. That, that top board, that top is clearly not gonna work. So I'm gonna have to uh, definitely um, shim that, that top up. I got one of my pants, wouldn't you know it? Come on, honey, get out of there. Get out of there. They should all soon find their way in there. And it gives me time to play with the top. Girls should be starting to release their pheromones saying, hey, we're in here, we're in here, we're in here. There are no foragers out right now, so I'm not worried about going back to the previous location, especially since we're indoors. I am, however, going to take this box outside so they don't smell it. So if you can see them, I don't know, you probably can't see them or hear them, but they're, their butts are in their air, they're releasing the Nazanoff pheromone, letting them know, hey, this is home, this is home, this is home, our queen's in here, so I think we're okay. So all the one ladies flying around, they should uh, head back to that new aquarium, the observation hive, very, very soon. expecting them to be dead. I can't believe it. I am thrilled to death. That's what good nutrition and good mite load will do for you. And this was a late, late, late. Like I think this was September when I got this swarm. I never expected them to have enough resources to make it through. I'm thrilled to death they do, however. So let's figure out what we're going to do with this top board because that's not going to cut it. I need to be thicker. And of course, the girls are also very happy that the weather's warm. We're inside here, so it's probably 55, 60 degrees in here. Some of them are probably gonna be pooping all over my wood shop, is my guess. see if it's fitting or why it's not. Most of those frames that you can see were actually medium frames, not deeps, which is very unfortunate.
So I don't know if I can see it in there or not. All right. Lid is on. They're all there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it about 60 degrees in here. Warm enough that they can fly, but cold enough that they're going to want to go home for too awful long. I'm going to turn off the lights so it's dark or darker, but you can see them flying around. They're, going to, they're still going to start smelling that entrance and they'll go in that entrance. And once they're in the entrance, then I'll be able to uh, put the hose in and get them an outside source. Entrance is still open, so they'll start using it soon. Well, there we have it from this side. I don't know if the lights will let you see how good they're doing or not, but nice looking hive so far. I did leave the entrance open right there in the bottom left, hoping that the few that are still flying around will get in there. And you can see how that just will snap back in there and it runs outside. When you're drilling to the outside, make sure you're in a, a wall that has no electricity, no electric wires, nothing of that nature. I knew that this wall did not have anything, so I was not concerned. Drilled right through it, got some insulation in there, which nice to see that it was insulated. I was proud of that. And uh, went outside and I'll show you what that looks like from the outside. But that's the hive. We'll see how it goes. We've got some sugar syrup on it right now and I'm hoping that will... Uh, attract the few that are flying around still to come in and uh, drink some syrup and and to make it all the way home. So once uh, tomorrow is over with or once, tomorrow morning I'll come out here and I'll go ahead and cap it and make sure that uh, the bees can no longer get out into the wood shop. And here's the other side of the observation hive. As you can see, I they had mediums in, in that deep. I was not aware of that when I pulled them out, but since I knew that there was at least one or two um, deep supers or deep deep frames in there, I went ahead and just used uh, the aquarium. So they'll build it out. They'll build it long. The bees know what they're doing. I did snap some vinyl when I was drilling out. I uh, didn't think about doing that. I should have probably did it from the outside in, but uh, it is what it is. So I do have a 45 degree on there. We'll end up putting a landing board right here in front of it. Maybe even build an entire house for it so they can come and go as necessary. But there you go. Well, folks, again, this is John from Clark's Bees and Such. And there's a few things that I would do different next time if I built one of those. Um, number one, I'd be sure to move the frames on the outside of the house and the outside of the shop instead of the inside of the shop. But, Certainly a few things I'd do differently, but hey, it was a quick build. It was an easy build. I want to thank you for joining me today, uh, spending time with me in my workshop, and hopefully, you know, you won't criticize me too much. Again, I am not a master woodworker, um, no doubt about that one. I'm not even a master beekeeper. I'm just a guy who likes to have bees, and uh, in the process of moving from bee haver to beekeeper, as I mentioned before, uh, I'm going to start doing some a video series for introductory beekeeping everything you need to know to get started with bees in 2022 or whatever time frame it's going to be. So I want to start rolling these out on a weekly basis. Again, I've had several requests to do this from friends and family and some other interested parties that just want to get into beekeeping. If uh, you want to see those videos, please be sure to like and subscribe. Make sure you ring the bell so you get notified when, when new uh, videos come out. If you, there's any particular topic that you would like to learn more about in terms of beekeeping, you know, especially introductory beekeeping, please leave a comment, let me know. And also, if you have an aquarium observation hive, like the one I just built today, please be sure to tell me uh, the comments. You know, what, what did I do right? What did I do wrong? What have you done? What's your experience been? Uh, I do know the guy, the gentleman who I watched the video, video of on YouTube. I'll put the link in the subscription here, uh, in the description of the, of the video. But he just keeps it year-round in the house. Year-round, it's in his house. 
and I think he actually sleeps in that room. So he's got him three tanks high, I believe. We can always add more tanks, and I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully, we can add two or three this year. We'll see how they how they grow. But uh, in the meantime, I hope everyone has a wonderful and blessed 2022. Look forward to talking with you next time. I will be at the Hive Life Conference this next week. So the first video, look for the first video and be keeping me roll out in about two weeks or so. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, have a great day.